Welcome to Excel Magic number 590. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my College website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 586 to 590. In this trick here, we have some rental data. Here's the customer, the rent uh, time, day they, date they rented it, and the rent, uh, whatever item they're renting when they brought it back in. So this is like for equipment. Uh, and here's our categories. The actual days rented do not always equal billed. So, for example, from zero to two days, we bill them one day. From three to seven, we bill them three. And then eight days, uh, we bill them four, nine days, five. From So this is like the dividing line. Once we get to eight days, four, everything above it is adding one. So we want to figure out a formula that can automatically uh, calculate the number of days billed from our rental days. And we want both columns here. Uh, the formula here will, will be for rental days, the later date minus the earlier date. Now for this example, we have to include this date. And the way date math works is when you subtract the two, this date is not counted. So anytime you have this situation, and there are many situations, you just add one. Okay, So that'll give us control enter and then I'm going to point to my fill handle and double click and send it down to copy it. Those are the days. Four here, right? So we come down to our scale, it's in here, so really we need a three here. Uh, three would be three. Uh, two would be one, right? <clears throat> sixteen, here's how sixteen would work. Um, well, we know eight days is four um, and so 16 minus 8 is 8 remaining days, so that means 8. So 8 plus 4 would be 12. Now we don't want to do this by hand. We want a formula to do this. So let's see how this could work. Equals if. And we want to say, hey, is the are the number of days billed, and that's a relative cell reference, are those less than 3? And I have to lock this one, so I'm going to hit the F4 key. If it's less than 3, the value of true is 1 day, right? Less than 3 means 0, 2, or really 1 and 2. So and we have to lock that too, F4. So that's the value of true. Now, comma, the value of false. Well, now we have lots of values left. So the way you build a multi-step if is when you get to the false, and there's still more than one possibility left. You just type a new if. Now, the next test is, well, we just excluded all the values um, beneath 3. And so now we want to go to the next one. If this relative cell reference is less than 8, which means it's this one excluded, so it's less than 3, so that meant 1 and 2. Now this one, when we say less than 8, if we've already encountered a 1 or 2 here, then the if stops and gives you the value of true, right, which is right there. Otherwise, it doesn't go here. So we're never going to encounter 1 and 2. So that's why we can just say less than 8, because it automatically would be from 3 to 8. So when that's the case, that's the logical test. The value, if true, is going to be 3 days. And I need to lock that. I actually need to lock that one, too, with the F4 key. So I'm going to copy it down. Those are looking to this table, right? So that's the value of true. Now we've covered everything below 8. Now comma. Now what if it is 8 or above? So this is excluded everything below 8. This is excluded everything below 3. So now we have to uh, calculate everything above 8. Well, 8 would be easy. We could just click right here, 4, and then F4 key to lock it. Now, everything above this we increment by 1. So we simply say, just as we did over here, 16 minus 8 was 8 which gives us the number of days. So we add plus whatever whatever the days are, relative cell reference, minus our 8. And I'm going to have to hit F4. Now think about this. Right now, what's 4 minus 8? Well, it's minus 4. But it's never going to get to this argument right here because if it's um, if it's this one, it, it this if just gave it a tr whatever the true value is there. So we're never going to get a minus number here because those will automatically be in in excluded because of earlier logical tests. So that's the value if false. Close parentheses, and the way you close out um, is just hitting parentheses until you see a black one. Control Enter.
and double click and send it down. And sure enough, we get our 12 here. We get our 4 for 8, our 3. Our 9 gets us a 5, which we didn't even use that table. This just would extend here. Uh, and so there's a uh, straightforward format. You could also go with something like this if you download this. Bleh, well, I don't like that one. Uh, Although that's the way I first envisioned it after I thought about it. It's much easier given this criteria to do a, a straight if like this. We just have three situations. So we have one, two ifs, and our three situations were less than three, less than eight, and then eight or above. One, two, three situations, one, two ifs. All right, we'll see you next trick.